So this is the new Blink video doorbell and this was supposed to be released 3 years ago. Is this still a good option for 2021 or is it 3 years too late? Well, let's find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to check the new Blink video doorbell. A lot of Blink users have been waiting for this since 3 years ago. And Blink then was almost about to release their video doorbell and that was in 2018. And the last minute, they pulled the plug. A lot of stuff happened since then. They were acquired and now owned by Amazon and they decided to change to a subscription-based model. And they knew that they will have some backlash so they made sure that they grandfathered in their old customers to their free 7200 seconds or 2 hours of cloud storage and eventually released the Sync Module 2, which it can store recorded footage locally to a thumb drive. So to make this video simple, I'm going to say it right now that I'm really not going to recommend this doorbell to a new customer. You'll be needing to pay a bit more either with a monthly subscription plan or you can purchase the Sync Module 2 plus the thumb drive if you want the local storage option, which ultimately adds to the price of this doorbell. There are way other better options out there. Plus, this doorbell has some limitations which I'll tell you later on in the video, so just keep on watching. Also, if you find this video matter videos helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you. This doorbell can be an option though if you're already into the Blink system, and especially if you were grandfathered in. You will get the most benefit for this doorbell and if you add the Sync Module 2 to your account, you will get an additional 2 hours of free cloud storage on top of the original 2 hours. Plus, you can plug in a thumb drive to back up the recorded footage from the cloud. So I have an older Blink user account and I already have the Sync Module 2 from a Blink outdoor camera. So I will set up this doorbell and add it to this module. We will check out its features, do a quick unboxing, set it up, check out its video and audio quality, and run our usual video doorbell tests. And see if you're already a Blink user if you will want to add this video doorbell to your setup. Let's check out its features, which is pretty basic for a video doorbell of 2021. Day and night 1080p video, two-way audio, chime app alerts, and long-lasting battery life. Which by the way, it still uses AA disposable lithiums which I will definitely have something to say later on. Be alerted to what matters. It has customizable zones and also you can set privacy zones. So please note that Blink doesn't have any type of AI, no person or human detection. You can install this wire free or connect to your existing doorbell wiring to sound your chime. Remember though that this is the only benefit of wiring this doorbell. You will still use the battery for power and because it uses disposable lithium batteries, you will not be able to use the wiring to top off the batteries like other wireless video doorbells that have rechargeable batteries. And because Blink is owned by Amazon, then it integrates with Amazon Alexa. Let's check the specs. Field of view is 135 degrees horizontal and 80 degrees vertical. It records in 1080p Full HD in the best quality setting and records up to 30 frames per second. Time to open up the box. So there is a box within a box and opening it, you will see the doorbell front and center. Build quality is plastic but decent. We have the camera lens, infrared LED somewhere here and we have the PIR motion sensor. We have the mic and the doorbell button which is surrounded by a ring light and pushing the button is pretty responsive and has an audible click. On the bottom, we have the speaker. On the back, we have the battery compartment and it uses two AA disposable lithiums. Then we have a reset switch here. What else is inside the box? We have the mounting plate or the back cover and we have these two terminal screws if you want to wire in your existing doorbell wires. It comes with two lithium AA batteries and some paperwork. We have mounting screws, extra terminal screws, plastic anchors, and wire nuts. We have a push removal tool to remove the doorbell from the mount. Time to set this up. I will connect this to my existing Sync Module 2. Open up the Blink app and click the plus sign on the upper right corner. Choose Blink Video Doorbell. Scan the QR code which is in the back of the doorbell. And I'm going to add this to my existing system. Insert the batteries and wait until the LED light blinks red. Click Continue. 
And if your Blink account is already linked to Amazon Alexei, it will automatically configure to work with Alexei. Time to install this. Just screw in the mounting plate or the back cover using the two included screws. Align the tabs to the mount and push down to lock the doorbell in place. To remove the doorbell so that you can replace the batteries, push the removal tool in on the bottom slot and pull up on the doorbell to remove it. Let's check out the settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will see the snapshot that you last took from the camera when you click the camera icon. This is not the snapshot of the last event. You can click the video icon to start the live view, which takes a while, which there is some delay to it. In here, you have the option to save the live view. Also, you can start two-way talk by clicking the mic icon and also mute the phone speaker if you want. Back to the main app page, you can click the running man icon to turn off motion detection and click the dashed lines to get to the camera settings. We have the battery status, motion detection, on or off, motion zones where you can update the snapshot and reset the zones. And you can click advanced to zoom in and have more grids to fine tune your motion zones. Grayed out areas are not active areas. We have retrigger time or the cool off where you can set from 10 seconds to a minute. There is always a cooldown of 10 seconds for Blink cameras. Then we have motion sensitivity from 1 to 9. Clip length, you can set it from 5 seconds to 30 seconds max. And clip early if motion stops. And motion activated LED for the doorbell so that you will see the button in the dark. But turning it on, you will get a warning that it will impact battery life. Also, there is a bug in the software right now that you can toggle it to on, but it doesn't save, so it doesn't work right now. We have night vision controls and infrared intensity, low, medium, and high, which I'll keep mine in medium. Enable audio and adjust the camera's speaker volume. You can turn off recording and change the video quality, and best is the full HD 1080p at 30 frames per second. There is also photo capture, which the camera will take a snapshot once every hour, and you will see this in the events or clips section. Chime options if you wire this in with your existing doorbell wires. Now back to the main page, you have to arm the system for the camera to start recording and send notifications of motion events. At the bottom, we have the play button to get to the events, which in my case, they are stored in the cloud. You will see the motion events and doorbell push recordings. Time to check out the video and audio quality. So this is the video and audio quality of the Blink video doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Blink video doorbell at night. And this with no lights. And it has one infrared LED our LED turned on and this is in auto night vision mode so this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door so this is the video quality of the Blink video doorbell at night and this with my front porch lights on and also the night vision is turned off because if it's on then the night vision will turn on the infrared LEDs will turn on Anyways, this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell, and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Blink video doorbell. And I'm on my LTE connection, and it is uh, almost 2 o'clock, so 159. So let's check it out. There you go. That's pretty quick. And when you click and hold, there's no GIF preview, so there's no rich notifications. And when you click on it, it should go to live view. There you go. All right, cool. All right, so it is 2 o'clock, so it's been about uh, less than a minute, actually. But uh, with the Blink Video Doorbell, you can set the recording time and also the re-trigger time. So I've set mine to the mo minimum, which is 10 seconds, and the recording time is 20 seconds. So it should give us a notification again. I like that the uh, notification is pretty quick. So the same thing, click on it, and it should go to live view.
there you go all right so let's test now the uh, doorbell push to notification speed there you go so the doorbell itself has someone is at your doorbell the doorbell itself has a chime and also the your phone and when you click on it and it is not a generic chime it's a customized blink chime so that's good and live view there you go live view Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, yes, can I help you? I was just wondering if Lifehackster was here. I was just wondering if Lifehackster was here. Uh, sorry he's not here right now. Uh, you wanna leave a message? Uh, sorry he's not here right now. Uh, you wanna leave a message? Um, yes. I just had this package for him that I needed to drop off. Thank you, though. Um, yes. I just had this package for him that I needed to drop off. Thank you, though. Alright, thank you. Uh, yes, can I help you? I was just wondering if Lifehackster was here. Uh, sorry he's not here right now. Uh, you wanna leave a message? Um, yes, I just had this package for him that I needed to drop off. Thank you, though. Alright, so we are going to test the... This is the Porch Pirate testing for the Blink video doorbell. And see how fast it start, will start to record and also on the notifications. So I'm gonna get my package right here. And then get out. You see that? You heard that? That's the notification. So the doorbell recorded. So let's see how fast it started to record. So if you wire this doorbell using your existing doorbell wires, then it will also chime your chime box when somebody pushes the doorbell. Plus, you will get notification from your phone. If you have Amazon Echo devices, you can also use it as a chime by setting it up in the Alexei app. Someone is at the blink doorbell. Huh. It doesn't have the live view like the ring cameras. It doesn't have the auto live view. Well, I guess. Show blink doorbell. Okay. So there will be a delay before I can respond. Oh, that's good. There's two way out here. There's a lot of mosquitoes. A little bit. I don't think they're me yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. That's it, But Thank you. So what do y'all think? Now, I want to ask current Blink users. Comment below. Is this good enough to add to your Blink system? And for my thoughts, well, Blink is still stuck in the past. I probably would have said yes three years ago. There are way better doorbell cameras now. The thing about Blink is it is safe battery life first and security second type of system. It uses disposable lithium batteries and every setting and feature that it has, Blink has to cripple it, like timing out the live view. And cranking up the sensitivity and recording length and you'll be warned that it will drain the batteries faster. Now with their outdoor and indoor cameras, this is fine. But for a video doorbell installed in your front door where there's always a lot of motion traffic, Unless you don't use your front door to get in and out of the house, I'll be surprised if the batteries can last 3 months. Also, there's no AI or person detection. It does have a pretty customizable motion zones, but you will still get false motion alerts. There is no rich notifications. And instead of sending you to the recorded motion or doorbell event footage when you answer your notification, minutes or even hours after, you will still be sent to live view which will turn the camera and waste more battery life. Blink is owned by Amazon and I thought it will have the neat feature like the ring when somebody pushes the doorbell, it will automatically show the Someone live view in your Echo doorbell. Show devices. But not with Blink. You will still need to summon Alex A to show the camera. Video quality in daytime is okay, even without HDR. And it is good that it records at 30 frames per second. Motion detection is also pretty reliable during my testing. And I like that Blink finally changed its motion notification speed, which is now pretty quick. Except that loading the live view takes some time. Well, that's it for this video. Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.